everybody this is Alessandra welcome to my home welcome to my kitchen I'm super excited today I'm finally making taralli 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 oh, the dogs are going okay. okay so the taralli simple ingredients these were recipes that were created from things that were on hand so they're very simple I know one of my viewers has been waiting for this recipe so here it is okay so I have six eggs half a teaspoon of baking uh, powder, I have a tablespoon of uh, sugar, and a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of sambuca. You could also use a um, grappa, or you could use a marsala wine, or just a regular wine. I like the sambuca because it gives it that anise flavor. All right, it's going to be four cups measuring a half a kilo. Now, the reason why I have my scale out, because I wanna show you how we're gonna measure the flour. Because if you just grab a cup and you pack it in, it's not gonna be the right measurement. So, if you're baking and my measurements is in grams, please do use a scale, you're gonna have a better result. But I wanna show you right now exactly how to measure the four cups that should total 500 grams. So I'm gonna turn it around for you to see. Okay, so I'm going to zero, zero. Don't anybody laugh, this is my Weight Watcher scale, which makes the best weighing, okay? So this so is what you want to do, you wanna, Pick up the flour gently so it has air in it. Because what happens is if you grab a measuring cup and you pack it in, it's way more than a one cup measurement. And that's why the recipe will be off. So let me show you. Let me fill it up to the four cup line and it should be 500 grams. Yes, let me continue filling all the way to the four cup. Let me give it a shake and guess what? Yep. Yeah. There it goes. Exactly four cups. And take a look, take a look at the scale. 509. That's perfect. That's exactly where it needs to be. And take a look at the container. It's exactly four cups. We're all good. Okay. And the other ingredient is extra virgin olive oil. We're going to be using 100 ml, which if you're using a measuring cup, it should say right on it. Um, it's just slightly under half a cup. So remember that. Follow the recipes in ml and grams just for better results. I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself. So let's get started. I'm going to mix all the dry, the dry ingredients in my mixing bowl. You could also go straight to the counter and work it all on the counter. So there goes the flour, the salt, the sugar, and the uh, baking powder. Okay, now, for, and let's move it to the side. For the wedding ingredients, here are the eggs. Here is the sambuca. I'm just going to add it in. To whisk the egg and the sambuca together. Okay, now that the eggs all nice and whisk what I'm going to do is with the hook attachment I'm going to go ahead and give it a mix and then I'm going to add the egg in slowly so it starts picking up uh, the liquid into the dry ingredients the help of a spatula move the flour towards the middle and finish adding all the eggs. Now let's get the oil in. Slowly so it picks it up. Look at the beautiful dough that's forming. Look, I'm gonna stop the machine. I'm gonna show you how soft it is. And it's gonna pick up all the flour and then we'll finish working it on the counter. I'm going to stop it to show you how soft the dough is. See that? Okay. Get over. I'm just going to dust a little bit of flour on my work surface and just let's get it, get it out. Oh, wow. I wish I'm going to have the camera come closer because I want you to see how soft and wonderful of a dough it is. Now. Um, we're going to be working this for quite a bit, okay? At least 
15 to 20 minutes. Could you have done it in the KitchenAid? Absolutely. But somehow it's not the same. It really needs to be worked by hand. And as you could see, once I got it on the counter and I don't need any other um, flour. You don't want to do that because you don't want to add any other flour. I just was worried that it was going to stick. But look at it, okay? Take a look at that. See that? What a soft and wonderful dough. But it's not ready. Keep working. Okay. So now I want to show you how you could tell that the dough is ready. I've been working it uh, about 15 minutes. goes let's cut it come closer yes you see all those bubbles that tells me that the dough is ready so this is what we're going to, to do I'm going to combine it again now I'm exhausted the dough is tired too so we need to let it sit at least for an hour so what I'm going to do ecco qua perfecto with um, plastic wrap right over it make sure it's nice and sealed otherwise it will dry just set it on your counter and see you back in a little bit time to roll out the the tarali okay here's the dough nice and rested so what we're going to do is uh make long logs and create the tarali let's start with separated pieces as you could see, it's a beautiful dough. It doesn't stick, and it's so easy to work with. Now, also, as we get them rolled, next thing you're gonna do is fill up a pot of water and get it on the stove uh, to get it boiling. Okay, come closer. I wanna show you the thickness of the, the rod. Okay, I'm gonna say about eight inches. There you go. You're gonna close it up. Pinch it tightly here so it doesn't open up and move on to the next one. Completed the tarali, let's get them boiled. Um, and in the meantime, get your oven on 400 so we're all ready to go. It's boiling, let's get the tarali in. Now, when they come to the surface, that's when it's time to remove them. So just get them in. Don't overcrowd them because you don't want to stop boiling. The temperature to go down. So this one is ready. Once it floats to the top, you know that the tarali is ready. There's another one. Here's this one. Okay. Once they're cool to the touch, what I'm going to do with a sharp knife, you're going to start on one side and just cutting it three quarter of the way in. Okay. Just all around. Just leave where you pinched it. Leave that. So just go up until over here okay so from here all the way almost three quarter way in but not all the way around you leave the side that you pinch with that opening now I like to cook them on a wire rack because the even heat at the even heat and going through it it really makes them bright rise quickly and they're gonna they need to be light a little hard um, and dry Okay, so I'm going to continue on with the rest. Also, space it out because they will grow. Again, so you just take where you start, where you pinched. Go all the way around with the knife. Don't cut it through as if you're cutting a bagel. Leave the, the inner circle attached. And I'm going to get them in the oven at 400 for the first... 20 minutes and here are the tarali okay so I had them 20 minutes at 400 and I lowered the oven at uh, 325 and I had them in there another uh, 20 minutes 
they need to be very light look how perfect they are look at this oh i can't wait now and let's we'll get... glaze them we're all three cups of confectioner sugar and i'm gonna do three tablespoon of lemon juice i hope it's not too much but i don't think so this is something that kind of hard to have the measurements i just go as, as i feel you see it definitely is not enough let's go ahead and add more lemon juice you could also add a little water or you could also add milk believe it or not if you add the milk it really comes out nice and white so no i'm gonna because i want them really lemony i like them like that so i'm gonna add more lemon juice that's exactly the consistency you want you see that smooth white no lumps in it don't be afraid to beat it a little bit okay now very simple take the tarali and just glaze them right in there you go perfect but make sure you drain them you don't want too too much on it okay now if you're gonna add any sprinkles you gotta do it while the glaze is wet otherwise it will not stick on let me continue on with all of them and then I'll show you the final product. Here you have it. Here is the tarali already. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. A lot of recipes coming up for Easter. Uh, Pastiera, St. Joseph Zeppelis also. Grazie. Arrivederci alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.